What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Exodi Man here with a quick video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this Mermel uh, Lantern deck profile that took second place at a regional. I think it was in U oh, Uruguay. That's the country, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I do apologize if I'm not. But 2012, this deck came out, if I'm not mistaken. 2019, yes, I know there's still players out there that play water. And they're pretty good at it. There's OTK versions, you know, which I think is the best one. Uh, but don't get it twisted. This deck can do a lot of damage if you get caught slipping. Um, I do have a friend that plays this. And I believe this is the same build uh, that he runs. Uh, minus this dragon here, the Ash Blossoms. And I'm not sure if he got the Secolite. But I'm pretty sure that gave him the Secolite. But uh, yeah. Oh, the danger. I, I definitely know he's not running that. But yeah, it's a simple lineup. It's simple, uh, I want to say simple math, simple text, simple scripts. You know what I'm saying? This 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 is a simple Mermaid Lantern, the two Gamma Seals. Effect Bailers are pretty dope. Uh, I'm telling you, this, this, uh, I have a friend also that said, uh, why is no one playing this before everybody started playing? I mean, like, before Solomon Graves, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he always used to say, hey, this, this is the best, this is the best. Uh, hand trap out there and why is no one playing it? and then sooner Solomon Graves came in I'm not trying to say that Solomon Graves was the reason why they, they play this or maybe it is but he's always favored this card and you know and it's it's good to see it back in the lineup in the meta play it's pretty dope and like I said this uh lineup is pretty dope I'm gonna be honest with you and I think it's pretty cheap in my opinion every everything I think every card here has been reprint or they're just cheap Plain and simple. I want to say 150 bucks. You can probably get the whole deck. Um, uh, yeah, I believe so. Then Draco sack get reprinted in the it's, it's like Chaser Affinity of Chasers, I believe it's called. Um, yeah. yeah, this is so so like I don't know, right? I think 100 dollars, maybe 100, maybe 100. You get something. We got that frog engine in there, which we go into that toad. That's pretty dope. Prince always gonna be Prince. Second light, if you guys don't know what it does in the, under a rock, but you really do. That's for like your draw powers and stuff like that. He's heavy with the hand traps. You can see Ash Blossom at two, Effect Bailers. Uh, we also have the Ogres and everything else for more hand traps in the side. Now we talk about this side and um, DD Crow. I like this card. I, I, I have been testing this Crow, uh, DD Crow with a lot of the decks. Especially Osan Juice, Trick Stars, Solomon Graves, and it really does really well. I, I really think I like this. Lancia, yeah, we got those Thunder Dragons running around. Crankatops, always going to be a best side card or even main card, and I believe this card is going to become an ultra rare or super in the new set. John Lockbird, <laughs> don't know. I don't like this here, but hey, it's in the side, so let's leave it at that. Call by the Grave. I said it before, this card has to be in everyone's deck. I don't care what you play. This needs to be in your deck. Main or side. This card is so fucking amazing. Call by the Grave. And I know it was limited to like two, and then Konami brought it back to three. And I, I thank Konami. Thank you, Konami. Uh, Red Reboot, you see that there. Uh, extra deck, solid. For the Lynx, uh, Chasbania, Sorcerer, uh, the Dino Dude, Link Spider. Yeah, this is staples uh mostly everybody's one of these. We got the True King Calanomies. I remember this card with dinos, True King Dinos. I used to love this card. Shut down. Totally awesome. Oops, totally awesome. We already know that. The Metal Dragon, uh, all this staples, Drago Sack. I, I'm surprised he don't play Big Eye. But whatever. We got the big big whale. The white whale. <laughs> and yeah, and the Bronic. Like I said. This is a simple Mermel deck, right? Don't you think? Uh, I, I personally think uh, this deck can do a lot of damage in this meta. I believe it can top events. Uh, it's just people really just follow the meta and, like, I don't know. But, yo, second place at a regionals, man. This, this deck is pretty dope. <laughs> I like it, and um, I can't wait to see one of my friends that plays his deck. I am going to probably steal his deck so I can play it. <laughs> Be like, yo, let me your mermel stuff. And um, yeah, 
And like my boy June says, I want your deck profile. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for watching, guys. Exodia Man out. Deuces.